use dim walls theorem to simplify the following and then convert them into the rectangular form. So there are two things here. We have want to use dim walls theorem and then simplify and simplify them into the rectangular form. So these questions are in the polar form 2 cis 30 raised to 4. So let's first write what's the dim walls theorem. So dim wall uh, hopefully I am pronouncing it correctly dim walls theorem. has come from basically multiplying polar numbers. Okay, Dimbov theorem states like this. Uh, if z, if z is equal to uh, r, r cis theta, if z is equal to r cis theta, where this is in the polar form, this implies z to the power n if you raise this by nth power, z to the power n is r raised to n cis n theta. So I just wanted to pause and understand this theorem. Okay, so this theorem would be given in your formula sheet. z is equal to r cis theta, z to the power n is r raised to n cis n theta. So let me give you an example of this. It's not a uh, it's a informal proof. Okay, so let's do an example. If say z is equal to say 2 uh, cis 30 or 60 say 60 degree and you want to find z squared. Okay, you want to find z squared. So z squared is z times z. So it is 2 cis theta 2 cis 60 times 2 cis 60. Now you know how to multiply polar numbers uh, or complex number in polar form. So this is 2 times 2 which is, so let me write 2 squared cis 60 plus 60. 60 plus 60. So that is same as writing 2, two squared times cis 2 times 60. So I want you to compare your n with 2 and your r with 2 and theta with 60. Okay, so let me take one more general example. Suppose if z is equal to r cis theta. So z cube would be r cis theta. We're just multiplying polar numbers or complex number in polar form times r cis theta times r cis theta. So when you multiply polar uh, co uh, complex number in polar forms, we have seen you multiply the modulus, that is r times r times r, which is r cube, and then you add the uh, argument, which is theta plus theta plus theta, which is 3 theta. And that is basically dim walls theorem. So if r is a complex number expressed in polar form as r cis theta, z to the power n is r to the power n cis n theta. So basically to remember this theorem, what you do is if you raise z by n, you raise the modulus by n, and you multiply the argument. This is the argument. Theta is the argument and R is the modulus. You raise it by N. You raise the modulus by N and you multiply the argument uh, with N. Okay. So let me cancel this whole thing. I want only to see the formula. So let me cancel this. Okay. Okay, let me cancel this too. Okay, so the first example using the formula is uh, using this formula. So this is a complex number. You're raising this by 4. Okay, so here this is your complex number. This is, you can say this is your z. And you're raising, so if you want to write this in this form, your z is your r2 cis 30 degree. 
and we want to find z raised to 4. So z raised to 4 would be 2 cis 30, 2 cis 30 raised to 4 raised to 4. Using this formula, this would be 2 raised to 4 cis, cis 4 times 30. 4 times 30, which is 2 raised to 4 is how much? 16 cis 120 degree. 2 cis 120 degree. Now we want to convert this into the into the rectangular form. Okay. So let's do without a calculator. So your R, so your new Z raised to 4 is this. So this is the answer in polar form. Now we want to convert this into rectangular form. So you should know the rectangular form is X plus YI. Okay, hopefully you know the formula. Your X is R cos theta. And your y is r sine theta. r sine theta. So this is the rectangular form. So uh, your r is 16 and your theta is 120. So your x would be uh, uh, 16 times cos 120. And your y is 16 times sine 120 degree. So let's use the calculator. Okay, my calculator by default will be set in radians. So I'll have to first change this into sorry degrees first. So by default it goes to radians. So degrees first, and then it is 16 cos 120 okay which is minus 8 this is minus 8 and 16 sine 120 is 13.86 into dp 13.86 13.86 so writing this in rectangular form this is minus 8 plus 13 Point eight six i, eight six i. So this is the rectangular form. Now you can also do this on the calculator to check your answer. We are done without the calculator. So we know your r is sixteen and your theta is one twenty. You can go up. Yeah, run menu, option, f six, f five, f six. You want to change this into rectangular form. So you need to give in the enter the uh, polar form, which is 16, comma 120, just to check your answer, which is equal to minus 80 minus 8, and this is 13.86. Okay. So let's move on. So let me erase this. Okay. So let me cancel this whole thing. I'll do one more and the rest will something that you have to do yourself. Okay, so yeah, for question B, the same process. So let's write Z is 3 cis, 3 cis 100 degree. So you want to find Z cube. So Z cube would be 3 cis 100 raised to 3. So using Dimwall's theorem, so this is 3 raised to 3. I'm directly writing, which is 27 cis 300 degree. So x is uh, r cis r cos 300. So this will be 27 cos 300, which will be positive. And y is 27 sine 300. First, let's do without a calculator. Okay, so uh, delete, yeah, exit. Okay, so this is 27 cos 300 would be 
positive. Yeah, sorry, it's positive. So this would be positive and the sign would be negative. Yeah, so this is 13.5. This is 13.5 because this is the fourth quadrant. 300 is in the fourth quadrant and cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant and sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so this is 27 sine 300, which would be minus 23.38, minus 23.38. So the rectangular form is x plus yi. So that is 13.5 minus 23.38i. Okay, so let's check this on the calculator. Angle, rectangular form, so that is 27, comma, 300. Close the bracket, 13.5 minus 23.38. Okay, now for radians, you can leave this as radians. So let me do one example for radian. So let me also again cancel this. I want to look at the formula. So let's delete this. You can make up your own problems, okay? So I'm going to do it directly now. So square root of two cis pi by four squared, okay? So this would be you raise the modulus by 2. So this is square root of 2, the whole squared, and multiply the argument by the power. So this is 2 times pi by 4. Okay, pi by 4, sorry. So this is 2 cis, 2 cis, pi by 2. So let's do this. So what does this mean? Let's do write, write this in rectangular form directly in a different way. So this is 2 times cos pi by 2 plus i times sine, sine pi by 2. That's what cis pi by 2 means. So we are doing this in a different way. Sine pi by 2 is, sorry, cos pi by 2, this is 90. Cos 90 is 0, so this is 2 times 0 and sine pi by 2 is 1. So i times 1. So this is uh, basically this becomes 2 times i. So the final answer is 2i. Okay, or if, if you want to write in this rectangular form, so rectangular form would be 0 plus 2i. The answer is 0 plus 2i. So let's check this on a calculator. Okay, so this is our polar form. This is the polar form. We want to change this into a rectangular form. So uh, exit, okay, in rectangular form, you can type in two comma. This you can type because this is set in degrees. So I'm going to type this 90. And oops, I want zero there and enter. So zero comma two. So this is zero plus two i. Okay. Same way you can do the next example and make up some of your own examples.